Over in Gombe State, residents are divided over the need to celebrate the Independence Day or not. Many Nigerians have the opinion that with more than half of the citizens battling to feed on a daily basis, the country has nothing to celebrate, even on low-key as approved by President Tunubu. However, some argue that the day should be celebrated in the spirit of patriotism. Hassan Kodi fathered this report from Gombe State. Annually, a series of events lined up by the federal government as well as state always herald the nation's independent anniversary on October 1st. Due to the economic hardship this year, the streets of Gombe, where youths are often seen with branded t-shirts celebrating the day, are empty. According to some residents, most people are focused on getting what to eat, adding that the struggle to put food on the table has made money to forget the celebration, with money arguing that there is nothing to celebrate at all. To chikari enchin kai na shikara si tinda hudu dami danka sa ampana. As a citizen, I think we are not fully benefiting from the nation's independence from her colonial masters. As a matter of fact, Nigeria itself needs help to stabilize socially and economically. I don't think even the president himself will be able to convince us that there is real and impactful development, especially now that we are still struggling to feed ourselves. The promises made by our founding fathers since 1960 are yet to be fulfilled, and this is unfortunate, so I have nothing to celebrate. It is a day of mourning for many of us as we are yet to feel the impact of the government. The government is always saying they are bringing development to the people, but as a citizen, I am yet to see the said development, so it is usually fictitious and in the realm of imagination. This administration's policies have brought us untold hardship following the removal of subsidies on the electricity and belt. We want the government to know that we are not celebrating anything. Let the government reverse its harsh policies. For people like Muhammad Ibrahim, Nigerians have a lot to celebrate. He, however, urged top government officials and Nigerians in general to remain patriotic even in the face of daunting challenges. Actually, we have, we have to celebrate independence. Nigeria is 64 as independence. If you look at the development and the challenges so far, as far as democracy is concerned. While we have to commend the government by making sure that uh, uh, sustainability of this government and providing all necessary things to make sure that Nigerians are going smoothly. If not because of the uh, corruption that we, is, that we have in this country, Nigeria is not the country that we, we are going to see it here now. So uh, we are calling on the government and the Nigerians, particularly the youth, to make sure that they know what is going on in the government. And we are calling on the youth. Protest is not the solution for our country. We have to partner with the government. We have to be law abiding to make sure that we support the policies of government to ensure the integrity and personality of Nigeria is restored. Despite approval of a low-key Independence Day celebration by President Bola Ahmed Tenebu, many Nigerians are still criticizing the move, saying the government needs to focus on people-friendly policies that will ease the current hardship among its citizens. From Gombe, Hassan Kori reporting for Trust TV.